So uh, for the past couple of years, I've been working uh, in one of the local manufacturing facilities as an industrial engineer, and my main focus was uh, basically doing cost improvement projects. And one of the biggest uh, cost improvement projects was basically taking people out of the line. And that doesn't mean uh, we'll be uh, firing people, but actually uh, uh, eliminating people from the line and reducing the new hiring uh, hiring. So, so doing that, uh, I've, I've uh, probably enabled about a dozen uh, headcount reduction. And uh, with this, uh, there was one question uh, in my mind. So is, is there a way where we can actually still save jobs and create more jobs in this economy? And, uh, and that, that's, that's where uh, when my uh, research started two years ago, I came across uh, this topic called as uh, predictive uh, maintenance where the biggest uh, challenge what we have today in manufacturing is it's not because of high labor costs but because of our machine reliability so we are not able to uh, create that uh, machines available uh, uh, to uh, build products that uh, indirectly creating uh, over time and if you actually look at a $30,000 car and if you create uh, one hour of overtime throughout the supply chain your price of the car is going to go up by $700 so with this, uh, when I came across predictive maintenance, the whole overview is about uh, collecting the data from machines in real time and uh, putting it into cloud environment and uh, later doing uh, uh, statistical analysis over it. And we'll be predicting the machine failures even ahead of time. So we can actually uh, take care of uh, the machine failures and uh, with this, we'll be uh, reducing the over time. And uh, recently we've been uh, hearing about uh, both the presidential uh, nominees uh, talking about how we can uh, create uh, jobs, but this is a new perspective where we can actually uh, invest some money in R&D and enable this entire uh, concept. Although this uh, predictive maintenance is something new concept, but it, it's, it's really not new. It's been there for the past couple of decades, but we didn't have the necessary means or technology to achieve this. And today we have all this, that's why we call this as the golden era or the dot com era where we can actually achieve all this. And uh, totally, uh, with this, I, I, my, my hypothesis is to see if uh, with this new theorized concept can enable uh, uh, with the reduction of our direct uh, labor cost and uh, increase more job opportunities in this uh, economy. Thank you.